If you are a sports lover and someone asked you who Sanya Mirza, PT Usha, Deepika Kumari, Bachendri Pal and Mary Kom were, you probably wouldn't bother to google. But if someone asked you who Archana Venkataraman, Rita Gombu, Vandana Rao, Chakravolo Swaru and Sarita Devi were, your answer most likely would be who? Such is the nature of sports. Some become stars while others are eclipsed by the stars. This is almost perfect. Mera man mein to hai main kuch banna chahte hu. Mujhe champion banna hai. Ha mujhe bhi ek din hamara national anthem gawana hai. You know the 2006 uh, World Championship for women was a turning point for women's boxing in India. Ek second mein decision mein ulta decision deke साल भर का मेहनत वो मेहनत एक सेकेंड में खत्म वो इमोशनल टाइम था पार्सलिटी वगैरह जब हो जाती है ना तो एक अच्छा प्लेयर को बहुत दुख होता है नहीं हिम्मत नहीं हारा मैंने कभी हिम्मत नहीं हारा मेरे लाइफ में एपिसोड फाइव फिस्ट ऑफ फ्यूरी As the bell rang to signal the end of the fourth and final round of the 60 kg semi-final bout between India's Sarita Devi and South Korea's Park Jin-ha at the 2014 Asian Games in South Korea, Sarita Devi raised her arms in celebration. She had done enough to secure a victory, but the judges thought otherwise. In a shocking decision, the judges awarded the bout to Park Jin-ha, ending Sarita's hopes for a gold medal at the Asian Games. Sarita and the entire Indian contingent were stunned. Devi stands in the middle of the ring. She's not going to leave easily. She stands with her hands on the ropes looking at the officials in disbelief that she didn't get the decision. After her appeal against the judge's decision was turned down, a tearful Sarita refused to accept the bronze medal at the medal ceremony. The move resulted in Sarita being banned by the International Boxing Association for a year. Sarita Devi was born in 1982 in a small village 26 kilometers from Imphal, the capital of Manipur. Growing up during the height of insurgency and witnessing the harsh realities of that period made her resolve to make something of a life as a young girl. Except she didn't know what she wanted to become and nobody was around to guide her. Like any child her age, Sarita enjoyed playing with her friends. But unlike girls her age, she would often get into fist fights with the boys. Naturally, she was reprimanded for her ungirly characteristics. Sarita's journey in combat sports began after a tragic incident. When she was 12 years old, her father suddenly fell ill one day and slipped into a coma. 3 months later, he passed away, leaving her mother to fend for 8 young children. पापा गुजरने के बाद एकदम मतलब हम लोग अकेले पड़ गए थे मम्मी शोक में चले गए तो उस दौरान मुझे एक बहुत अंदर से दुखी भी था और अंदर में गुस्सा गुस्सा भी था मेरा मन में मुझे कहाँ जाना है कुछ पता नहीं है और मुझे मेरा मन में तो है मैं कुछ बनना चाहती हूँ तो लेकिन क्या बनना है मुझे मालूम नहीं है लेकिन मम्मी रोज देखते हैं मम्मी को हेल्प करना है मम्मी को कौन सा काम करूं आ, उसको हेल्प मिल जाए वही हमेशा मैं सोच में रहते थे द फीलिंग ऑफ हेल्पलेसनेस ड्रोव यंग सरिता टू टॉय विद द आइडिया ऑफ जॉइनिंग द इंसर्जेंसी मूवमेंट बट बिफोर शी कुड एक्ट ऑन इट हर ब्रदर फाउंड आउट एंड गिव हर अ बीटिंग अ स्टबर्न एंड एंग्री सरिता रिफ्यूज्ड टू ईट फॉर अ वीक आफ्टर दैट इंसिडेंट She retreated into a dark place with no one to confide in. It was around this time that another elder brother of hers suggested she take up taekwondo. He felt it would serve as an outlet for her, and it was. Sarita began taking out her anger and frustration on the kicking bag. For a while, she felt good. Around this time, the Sports Authority of India was organizing a boxing camp for girls in Imphal. Sarita's coach, Ibomcha who had been closely observing her development suggested that she give boxing a try too sarita agreed and accompanied him to the camp but what she saw scared her at first 
सार ने मुझे खुमलम्पा में लेके गया साई बुमसा के पास साई में तो पहली बार मैंने बॉक्सिंग वहीं पे देखा है और उस दौरान दो लड़का एक्सपायरिंग कर रहे थे तो उस दौरान दो लड़का एक्सपायरिंग कर रहे थे तो एक रेड एक ब्लू हेड गेयर पहनते थे तो जो एक लड़का हेड गेयर का जो कलर है निकल रहे थे पसीना के साथ रेड रेड करके आ रहे थे मैंने तो फिर शाह ने पूछा तो मैं बोला शाह नहीं है तो पसीना भी रेड कलर का आता है मुझे नहीं खेलना है But then a week later Sarita changed her mind. She thought in order to become a more well-rounded martial artist she needed to improve her punches too. And boxing she felt could help her achieve that. Coach Ebomcha took her under his wings and began training her in boxing along with a girl called Mary Kam. For Sarita punching the bag finally gave her the release and peace she had been desperately seeking. And in Mary Kom, she found somebody who, like her, came from a difficult background and was trying to make something of her life. The first time Sarita boxed in front of an audience was at the 1999 National Games in Imphal. She had been selected for an exhibition bout along with former Indian martial artist Sandhya Rani Devi. The experience under the big lights infused in Sarita a new sense of confidence. but she was still unsure about a future in the sport the fact was that around that time women's boxing in india was still in its nascent stage there weren't any prominent indian women boxers to look up to nevertheless sarita continued to train as boxing felt like therapy for her her big break came in 2001 when she won gold at the first women's national boxing championship in chennai Her best friend Mary Kom too won gold in her weight category. The same year, Sarita was selected to represent the country at the first Asian Women's Amateur Boxing Championships in Bangkok. The place held deep significance for Sarita, as this was where her idol Dinko Singh had also won his gold three years ago. उस दौरान मुझे लाइक एक सपने लग रहे थे ड्रीम लग रहे थे कभी असली में मैं जो पहले मैं कैसा रहता था गांव के अंदर और मेरा लाइफ जो कैसे जी रहे थे तो बैंकॉक तक पहुंचने के बाद मैंने सोचा बैंकॉक एयरपोर्ट में मिट्टी में मैंने तस करके देखा हाँ ये तो असली में ये रियल है तो फिर मैं वहाँ इस दिन में पहुँचा और होटल मिला सब ड्रेस नेक्स्ट डे से हमारा कम्पिटिशन था फिर मैं कम्पिटिशन खेलते गए जीते गए जीते गए फिर फाइनल पहुंच गया मुझे फाइनल में चाइना के साथ मुझे फाइट किया चाइना के साथ दो पॉइंट से मैं हार गया तो फाइनल में मुझे पता नहीं था और मेडल सेरोमनी पौधे में नेशनल एंथेम होता है तो वो पहली बार मैंने महसूस किया जब चाइनीज एंथेम जब गाने लगे तो पूरा जितने भी लोग इस तदेम में है गैलर में बैठे सब खड़ा होकर रेस्पेक्ट कर रहे थे दे रहे थे तो वो चीज़ें मुझे एक मेरा एक बड़ा टर्निंग पॉइंट था मेरे स्पोर्ट्स में और हाँ मुझे भी एक दिन हमारा नेशनल एंथेम गवाना है नेशनल एंथेम जो नेशनल लेवल में मुझे इंटरनेशनल लेवल में गवाना है वही मेरा मन में था तो वही लेकर आया और मेरा जो पूरा जो हाँ लाइफ जो है बदल गया वो कंपटीशन से दी एक्सपीरियंस इन बैंकॉक है ट्रांसफॉर्म सारे था फ्रॉम हियर ऑन She wasn't just punching her anger away but had a goal in sight to win gold and have the Indian national anthem play at the medal ceremony. Her next outing was at the 2001 Women's World Amateur Boxing Championships in the USA. Unfortunately, she lost in the quarterfinal while her friend Mary Kom bagged a silver. Then came the 2003 Asian Women's Amateur Boxing Championship in Hisar, India. This time Sarita managed to realize her dream of having the national anthem play at the medal ceremony by winning gold at the tournament. Sarita was ecstatic, but the situation outside the ring was grim. Her family was still struggling financially, and despite doing everything humanly possible, things weren't going as she had hoped. At the root of the problem was the one thing that unfortunately continues to plague most sports in India even today. the lack of a proper support system ghar pe to problem halat sudhara nahi hai wahi tension hamesha rehte the to camp mein hum jab camp mein bhi rehte the na to 
केब में खाने पीने तो इंडिया गवर्नमेंट हमको दे रहे हैं खा रहे हैं दाई दे रहे हैं लेकिन कई बार ऐसे होता है हमारा पॉकेट में नहीं चाहिए मुझे चीज़ें अलग से कुछ खड़ा खाने का मन किया तो लेने के लिए चीज़ें के लिए मुझे पैसे नहीं थे फिर ऐसे करके मैं पाँच साल टू थाउजेंड तक बहुत स्ट्रगल किया लाइफ में और घर पर मेरा बड़े भैया बीमार था तो वो थोड़ा डिसेबल था जब पैदा के टाइम से तो तो बहुत प्रेशर थे मेरा गंदर 2005 में सेकेंड वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन से आ गया तो मैंने सोचा मेरा लाइफ में कुछ तो चाहिए थोड़ा एक महीने के एक महीने में 2000 3000 भी मिलने वाला कोई छोटा सा भी काम मुझे मिल जाए तो मेरा स्पोर्ट्स करियर में आगे जा सकता है नहीं तो नहीं मेरा ख़त्म है ये लास्ट मेरा कम्पिटिशन है With her eyes firmly on the prize, she put all her energy on training. Despite twisting her ankle ten days before the competition, Sarita advanced till the semi-final stage of the competition to secure a bronze medal. The medal finally came with the rewards. The Manipur government awarded Sarita a job in the state police as a sub inspector. This was the much-needed financial leg up Sarita had been praying for. She could now support her family with her monthly salary. and also take care of her own needs to become a better athlete In 2006 the women's world amateur boxing championship was being held in New Delhi India 180 amateur women boxers from 32 countries were contesting in 13 weight disciplines at the Tal Kadora Indoor Stadium पहली बार मेरा मम्मी जो है पहली बार मेरा बॉक्सिंग देखने में दिल्ली में बुला रहे हैं तो उसके सामने मैं बॉक्सिंग कर रही हूँ वो चीज़ें थोड़ा है मुझे चैंपियन बनना है मम्मी के सामने सरिताज विश केम ट्रू एशी डिफीटेड हर यूक्रेनियन अपोनेंट टू बिकम द वर्ल्ड चैंपियन इन द फिफ्टी टू के जी वेट कैटेगरी विथ फोर गोल्ड वन सिल्वर एंड थ्री ब्रॉन्ज मेडल्स टीम इंडिया इमर्ज एज द चैम्पियन ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट If there ever was a moment that marked the beginning of the golden era for women boxing in India, this was it. We spoke to senior sports administrator and former journalist Manish Kumar to understand just how significant this achievement was. You know the 2006 uh, World Championship for women was a turning point for women's boxing in India. It was not just women's boxing in India but it was also for women boxing across the globe because so far it was russia china and north korea which were very active in women's boxing but what happened in 2006 is that india entered the fray and with that not only did it bring more competition but you know uh, every sport needs the backing of a strong economy if you've seen the resurgence or the or the strengthening of women's boxing in the world today it is also because india has also made a made a small contribution to it in the 2006 world championship and i remember this very clearly because i was there at the venue at talkatora stadium uh, you know uh, the stadium was packed i remember there was a lot of excitement uh, for most people in india boxing means mohammad ali even though it's been decades since he hung up his boots india took everyone by surprise Uh, we topped the medal tally uh, because of the four gold medal that we won uh, where mc maricom at that time sarita devi kesi lekha and aril jaini this was just 6 years before women's boxing made its olympic debut in london so in that sense you know it was a milestone year it was a turn around for women's boxing in india because suddenly everyone realized that uh, apart from sport like athletics uh, there were other sport in which women could excel in 2010 Women's boxing was introduced at the Asian Games for the first time in three weight categories: 51, 60, and 75 kgs. Sarita was the natural choice to represent India in the 51 kilo category, as she had already been a world and Asian champion at 52 kilograms. But there were other contenders vying for the spot. Among them was her best friend Mary Com. Mary who was the world and asian champion at 46 kilos was gaining in popularity by the day and had the backing of senior coaches dheere dheere asian games aaya to meri hum dono ke beech mein duri aa gaye asian games mein hum dono ek hi weight mein kyunki wo 46 mein wo 46 se 51 mein increase karne mein bahut heavy ho sakte the height bhi kam thi 
तो उसका पंस वगैरह स्लो हो सकते थे तो हम लोग भोपाल में केम थे इंडिया वहाँ पे ट्रायल हुआ हमारे भोपाल में भोपाल में एशियन गेम्स के लिए ट्रायल किया मेरी हम दोनों एक ही सेम वेट में हम लोग ट्रायल दिया तो ट्रायल देने के बाद मुझे सिलेक्शन मिल गए थे विद अ स्पॉट एट द एशियन गेम्स सिक्योर्ड सरिता लेफ्ट फॉर द वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप इन बारबेडोस विद द इंडियन कंटिंजेंट शी कुडंट मेक इट पास द क्वार्टर फाइनल्स इन द 51 केजी कैटेगरी On the other hand, Mary Com won the gold quite comfortably at the 48 kg category. When Sarita returned to India, a surprise awaited her. The Boxing Federation of India announced a retrial for the Asian Games with no media presence. Although Sarita fought with all her heart, Mary Com was declared the winner and she was selected to represent India at the Asian Games. Sarita protested, alleging a conspiracy to favor Mary. but her protests fell on deaf ears the incident marked the beginning of the end of the friendship between the two former best friends mary returned with a bronze medal from the asian games and was celebrated across the nation while sarita seeing that her weight category had been usurped decided to move up to the 60 kg category for the upcoming 2012 london olympics The decision proved costly as Sarita who had no prior experience fighting at 60 kilos lost in the qualifying round of the Olympics. Meanwhile, Mary Com became an overnight star after becoming the first Indian woman boxer to win a bronze at the Olympics. Sarita decided to take a break from boxing after the 2012 Olympics to focus on her family. 3 months after her son was born, Sarita decided to start training with an eye on the 2014 Asian Games in Incheon, South Korea. 6 months later, she joined the India camp for the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. 8 months after giving birth, Sarita was competing inside the ring. Although she had a ligament tear in her hand, she managed to reach the finals. Unfortunately, the painkillers she had been taking had an adverse effect on her during the fire bhagwan mujhe bahut pariksha lete the mera andar to bahut mujhe mehnat karne ke liye aur 10 din pehle fi mera leg twist ho gaya mera pura leg right leg ko hai wo bahut bada phul gaya chal bhi nahi pa rahe the Sarita did survive for three rounds, but as expected, she lost the bout in the end. As soon as she landed in India, Sarita consulted a doctor and learned that apart from the ligament tear, she had also fractured her bones in some parts. The doctor suggested Sarita immediately undergo a surgery. But the Asian Games was in two months. Sarita pleaded with the doctor to get her ready for the Games without surgery. The doctor was kind enough to heed to her request. After 2 months of intense training, Sarita landed in South Korea for the 2014 Asian Games. Despite the wrist injury, Sarita outboxed her opponents to reach the semi-finals where she faced 25-year-old Park Jin-ha from South Korea. Although the older fighter at 32 years of age, Sarita felt confident. Bout began. In the red corner it's Park Jin-ha of Korea and in the blue It's Lysram Sarita Devi of India. The two fighters launched into a flurry of punches early on. The crowd, clearly favoring the South Korean, cheered every punch she threw whether it landed or not. After a closely contested first round, all three judges scored the bout 10-9 in favor of Park. The second round began. Sarita's gloves were finding her target. Good punching though here by Devi. Devi getting inside with a couple of heavy punches to the head. The left and right raining on Park as much as she fought back. At the end of the second round, Sarita managed to sway two judges into awarding the bout to her, while the third scored it in favor of Park. Sensing that it wasn't just the crowd who was in favor of a South Korean opponent. Sarita launched into an explosion of punches early on in the third round. The South Korean was left with a bloody nose by the end of the round. It was a clear domination by Sarita. But in a surprise decision, two judges scored the round in favor of Park. Even the commentators were surprised. Well, from my viewpoint, a lot more of the scoring punches 
were from the gloves of Devi. Going into the fourth and final round, all three judges had the South Korean ahead by one point overall. Sarita wasn't aware of the points. Her focus was only on her opponent on the other side. After exchanging blows for two minutes, the bell rang to signal the end of the fourth and final round. Both fighters raised their hands and approached their corners. In her mind, Sarita felt she had done enough to secure a comfortable victory. But when the final scores came in, all three judges scored the last round in favour of Park Jinnah to hand her the win. Sarita was heartbroken. The next day, Mary Com fought in the finals of the 51 kg category and won gold. Sarita was there at the gallery to support her old friend. Then came the medal ceremony. तो रिंग के अंदर जब गया और आंखों के सामने जो है जो हम खड़े थे पौधे में तब मैंने सोचा उस दौरान खिलाड़ी एक एशियन गेम्स एक कंपटीशन के लिए बहुत मेहनत करना पड़ता है बहुत सिक्रिफाइस करना पड़ता है वहाँ लेवल तक पहुँचने के लिए तो एक सेकेंड में डिसीजन में उल्टा डिसीजन दे के जो साल भर का मेहनत चार साल से हम जो एशियन गेम्स के लिए वेट कर रहे थे मेहनत कर रहे थे वो मेहनत एक सेकेंड में ख़त्म किया हो उसको तो हाईलाइट करना है ये गलत है बताना जरूरी है मुझे पता था मैं निकाल जाएगा ये मुझे मालूम था अ टेयरफुल सरिता रिफ्यूज टू वेयर द ब्रॉन्ज मेडल व्हेन इट वाज प्रेजेंटेड टू हर एंड इनस्टेड वॉक्ड अप टू पार्क जिना एंड पुट इट अराउंड हर नेक एज शी हैड प्रिडिक्टेड द इंटरनेशनल बॉक्सिंग एसोसिएशन बैंड सरिता फॉर अ ईयर एंड फाइंड हर 1000 स्विस फ्रैंक्स सरिता's former coach and mentor Sagar Maldayal who was also banned for a year for standing up for Sarita spoke to us about the controversial decisions and its aftermath wo emotional time tha aur action mein kya hai dekho ye partiality wagaira jab ho jati hai na to ek acha player aur ek acche coach ko bahut dukh hota hai wo gold medalist thi hamari go usko us samay humko aise bronze medal pe bhi ek santosh karna pada aur definitely wo आउट राइट टू को गोल्ड मेडल था हमारा लेकिन किन्हीं कारणों से टेक्निकल कारण से या डिसीजन से हमारे अगेंस्ट में गया और वो ज़्यादा भावुक हो गई तो रिंग से बाहर नहीं आ रही थी लेकिन फिर मैंने उसको समझ आया बेटे कोई बात नहीं क्योंकि हम इसको आगे जाके चैलेंज करेंगे और इसके लिए लड़ेंगे लेकिन फिलहाल बाहर आ जाओ उसने मेरी बात मानी फिर आए बाहर आए बाहर मीडिया वगैरह आया सारा सब कुछ तो उस पीरियड में फिर उसने वो मेडल लेने से भी क्योंकि मैं उस समय मेरी कॉम फाइनल में थी तो मैं उसकी बाउट करा रहा था उस पीरियड में उसका सेरेमनी हो रही थी तो उसने वो लेने से मना कर दिया मना कर दिया फिर उसके बाद मैं जो कोड ऑफ कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट होता है इस फोर्स का उसके तहत वो कार्रवाई की गई और हमें भी सस्पेंड किया गया उसको भी सस्पेंड किया कोच को जो भी इंसेंटिव मिलता है या रिवार्ड अवार्ड मिलता है वो दोनों लेने पड़ते हैं उसके बाद में वो सस्पेंसन का पीरियड जो था वो उन्होंने सस्टेन कर दिया भाई चलो ठीक है अभी जो हो गया क्योंकि देश पूरा देश हमारे साथ था उसमें वी स्पोक टू सीनियर स्पोर्ट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड फॉर्मर जर्नलिस्ट मनीष कुमार अनफॉर्चुनेटली व्हाट हैपेंस इन स्पोर्ट इज दैट दैट इंडियाज वॉइस नीड्स टू बी हर्ड मोर ऑफन एंड एट दैट इंसिडेंट व्हाट हैपेंड इज दैट इंडिया डिड नॉट रिएक्ट ऑन टाइम एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली नो रूल्स आर रूल्स इफ यू डू नॉट फॉलो रूल्स इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड रूल्स इफ यू डू नॉट पुट फॉरवर्ड योर कंट्रीज केस ऑन टाइम uh you know you will uh, you, you know you will not really be effective and that is what happened with sarita devi i felt that you know the officials at that time they could not really put up a case properly but sarita devi might have shown some emotions there and you know where uh, again in sports uh, rules and conduct for athletes is all equally important and she also came under some harsh scrutiny by the uh, by the asian games organizing committee at that time but there's no doubt the sarita devi deserve to win that bout and uh, she will always be remembered for pioneering 
women's boxing in India along with MC Maricom. In the year that Sarita was banned, she underwent a wrist surgery and recovered in time for the 2016 Olympics. Unfortunately, she didn't qualify for the games. Sarita then turned professional and even went on to win her debut. But her heart yearned more for the academy she had set up in 2012. She began focusing all her energy towards training the kids there, even selling a property to sustain the academy during COVID-19. At the time of this interview, Sarita hadn't announced her retirement from boxing yet, but she doesn't think she'll be competing again. Today, she splits her time between her family and the academy. Despite winning every competition out there, the one medal that remained elusive throughout her career was an Olympic medal. Her dream is now to produce a boxer from her academy who will bring home that Olympic medal. We conclude this episode with a special message from Sarita Devi for all our listeners. Life may up down to aata hai lekin usko challenging na himmat nahi haana maine kabhi himmat nahi haara mera life mein jitne bhi ha आते हैं ना चैलेंजिंग आते हैं तो वो हमने हमेशा मैंने फाइट किया है क्यों नहीं आप लोग भी कर सकता है आप लोग क्यों नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि आजकल छोटा छोटा चीज़ें में भी फाइट नहीं कर पाता मतलब दुखी हो जाते हैं डिप्रेशन हो जाता है ये होना नहीं चाहिए आपको जो आपका जो एम है आपको जो काम करना चाहता है उसमें रास्ते में तो बहुत आएगा रास्ते में गद्दा होगा और कुछ चीज़ें तो होगा लेकिन आपको हमेशा मेंटली तैयारी रहना जरूरी है तो जितने भी लोग यहाँ सुन रहे हैं आप लोग हिम्मत नहीं हारिए और आप लोग मेहनत करते रहिए और साथ ही साथ में प्रेयर भी कीजिए तो हमेशा हमारा वेपल जो है मन को शांति रखने के लिए प्रेयर बहुत जरूरी है वही बोलना चाहते हैं We hope you enjoyed this episode with Sarita Devi. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey of almost perfect. Until next time, remember that perfection is a myth, but pursuing it can lead to amazing adventures. Stay curious and keep striving to be the best version of yourself. The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of any entities they represent. This non-commercial program is for educational purposes only.